everybody, I'm Tim from Squidbot Cosplay, and I'm here at Otakon 2014 here with my buddy Dale. What's up, man? How's it going, man? <laughs> what can uh, What can you tell us about your cosplay? Who are you right now? Well, this is Lexicon. Okay. He's from a game called Strike. It's a second, second generation MOBA, so it's like League of Legends, it's like uh, Dota, Excellent. but it's not toxic. Gotcha. So, you know, you take it, and when you start to play that game, the first character that you meet in the game is me. Awesome. So, you know, we'll cool go deal. From there. <laughs> right on. Right, how uh, how long did this take you to make? Typically, a suit like this, when I go ahead and I start to build it with me and my buddies, it'll take between eight and nine months to get together. Nice. But we got this one together in two months. So Excellent. It, it's yeah. that old triangle adage, of, you know, money, quality, you know, all that. Absolutely. So a lot of money was put into this to right get on. it to get done that quick. <laughs> how does your wife feel about you uh, doing this? She's very supportive. Awesome. Um, my weapon needs to be smaller. According to her, because it's way too damn big right now, but it works. Of course, so, you know she. But she's without her, I could not do this. Right on. That's what it's all about, man. Oh yeah, definitely. Alrighty, thank you very much. You're quite welcome. More from Rotocon in just a little bit. Rock. Hey guys, I'm here with Patrick and Lecky, and uh, who are you guys cosplaying as? I am Walhart. And I'm Aversa, and we're both from Fire Emblem Awakening. Right on. And uh, how long did it take you guys to do these cosplays? I've been working on this on and off since about February, like the week after Katsukon. I'm in college, so just when I had time. I hear you. Probably a grand total of 60, 80 hours, something gotcha. like that. Right. How about you? Unfortunately, I'm not quite as skilled as he is, so I had to commission mine, but she did this dress in 24 hours. 24 hours, that's and nuts. And he did this armor in a matter of a week. Wow, that's crazy. Yes. Uh, what kind of materials did you guys use on these? Uh, all the plastic in this and that are both, uh, those are, it's all Wonderflex, it's like okay. thermoplastic. Right. So. Right on. A little bit of craft going mixed in. All right, guys, thank you very much, and uh, enjoy Ohio, or not Ohio Con, uh, Otakon. <laughs> Alrighty, I'm here with Maki, and uh, can you tell us a little bit about your cosplay? Um, I'm cosplaying Sona's arcade skin from League of Legends. Um, and I completely handmade all of the costume. I sewed right all on. of this myself. My boyfriend actually made my prop, so he made all of the... Well, he didn't make the he didn't make buttons. the buttons. Made but them all light did, up, though, and all yeah, the electronics. Yeah, he did all of the LEDs, all of the prop work, so... Most of the really, really good stuff is <laughs> what my boyfriend made. And uh, how long did it take for like the sewing and the um, and everything? All of it together took about a month. The prop itself took about two weeks, and I had been working on all of the rest of it on and off, on and off for like a month or so because gotcha. I like to procrastinate. Right. And uh, what kind of materials are we using here in the this, prop here? Uh, the base of it is insulation uh, foam. Okay. And craft foam. Uh, for our joysticks, we used a dowel rod and a um, foam ball. And then we have some actual um, arcade buttons that we rigged up and some nice little LEDs going on. Cool deal. Alrighty, thank you very much and uh, enjoy the rest of Oticon. Thank you. Hey guys, I'm here with Tori Newton. I'm doing some shameless plugging. This is Tori Newton of Squidbot Cosplay. Uh, who are you and, and what, what's your cosplay? Well, like you said, I'm Tori. This is a female version of a Goonimon from the fourth generation uh, Digimon. Okay. It's called uh, Digimon Frontier. Awesome. And uh, how long did this take you? Um, it's been a pet project for about a year now, and it's been off and on. I've been in school doing back and forth, back and forth, helping Squidbot out as much as I can. And I'd say it'd probably take me a couple months if I just worked on it straight. Right on. And what kind of materials did we use on this? We used L200. Um, a, oh, there's my ringtone. <laughs> um, yeah, just L200, a little bit of a contact cement, and a lot of sanding. Right on. Sounds like a lot of work. Yes. All right. All righty, guys, I'm here with Jonathan in this epic cosplay. Uh, can you tell me what you're uh, cosplaying? Uh, Jebediah Kerman from Kerbal Space Program. Right on. And uh, about how long did this take you to put together? Um, I was working on it in the evenings and weekends for about three weeks. Gotcha. And uh, what kind of materials did you use for the head there? Um, so the head is paper mache um, and then underneath it is fiberglass 
which is covered up with cloth to hide it. Um, and then the head is made from poster board covered in felt. Right on, man. That's an awesome cosplay. Love the game. And uh, thanks very much, and enjoy the rest of Oticon.